Hi guys, today I'm doing a get ready with me and I'm doing it from the shower to the very end. I like to listen to music while I'm in the shower or the bath and today I'm listening to the 1975. When I've got out the shower the first thing I do is apply my moisturiser which is the Nivea oil free day cream. Then I move on to my foundation and I'm using a mixture of two which is Revlon Colorstay in Buff and a white foundation by Stargazer and to apply this I'm using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I put them both on the back of my hand, blend them together and buff it into my skin. It looks very pale on camera because of the lights but if I don't mix white in then I get a line on my face and this is the lightest shade that they do. For concealer I use Collection 2000's Lasting Perfection Concealer, which I'm sure you have all seen before. I put this under my eyes and on any blemishes. Then using Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder, I pat this on top of the foundation using the e.l.f. Kabuki brush. Then I take my hair out of the towel so that it can air dry a little bit. Next using the lip and concealer brush from Body Shop, I take Down Brown which is a really nice warm brown colour and I use this as an eyeliner. At the moment I've been loving this because it's a much softer way of achieving the winged liner look. Next I curl my lashes and these are from number 7. Next I do my mascara which is Maybelline the Falsies. Isn't it thrilling watching me do my mascara? I do two coats on the top lashes and one coat on the bottom lashes. And using an angled brush and coquette from MAC I fill in my eyebrows. I find that if I frown it's easier to find the arch in my eyebrow. Then to get rid of any harsh lines and just make it look a bit more natural I brush through my brows again. Next is blusher and I'm using this pink colour from Fashionista. I've never bought this brand before, I only bought it because I like the really simple packaging but it's a good blusher and it does the job. And to apply it I'm using the blush brush from Real Techniques. With the blush brush you only really need to put product on the tip of it and then the rest of the brush does the blending for you. Next I'm taking lip scrub from Lush. It's a mixture of oil and sugar and when you put it on your lips and rub your lips together it gets rid of any dead skin cells. Next I'm going to use Revlon's Just Bit and Kissable Lip Balm and I've been loving this product. It's brilliant, it's so easy to reapply if you need to. It does stain your lips because it's a lip stain but it doesn't feel heavy like a lipstick does. It doesn't dry out your lips either. Now moving on to my hair, the first thing I do is brush through it with my Tangle Teaser. I love my Tangle Teaser, I recommend it to everyone. I would not go back to a normal hairbrush now because every other hairbrush I use just rips my hair out. So if you have tangly hair, long hair, thick hair, get a Tangle Teaser, it is amazing. Then I take Label M's Protein Spray and spray this throughout my hair. This is really good stuff, it's quite expensive but it's really good for your hair and it's a good protectant. Then I spray in a leave-in conditioner and this one is by Aussie. Then to make sure all the product is spread out evenly I brush through my hair again. When I've done that I blow dry my hair but I very rarely do this. If I can I'll let it air dry because I don't like to put heat on my hair. But when I do blow dry my hair I flip my head upside down and brush it forwards. I've noticed recently that brushing it forwards and blow drying it upside down makes a massive difference compared to just flipping your head upside down. Must not forget deodorant and I use Dove's Beauty Finish. Next I'm brushing my hair yet again and then I'm finding a parting. I'm going to take one side of my hair, lift it up, brush it through and back comb at the root. My hair really lacks volume and as you can probably see it's very limp so any back combing I do is completely necessary. Then I pull it up and back off my face and twist it away from my face, push it forward slightly and pin it in place. 
You've probably seen me with this hairstyle a million times because it's my go-to hairstyle at the moment. It's just so easy and it means that I don't have to put any heat on my hair, I can just clip it off my face because I absolutely hate having my hair in my eyes. Then I will play around with it a little bit, make sure it's in the right position and when I'm happy with it I will set it with some hairspray and I use shockwaves. Then I put some perfume on and I wear Lady Gaga's perfume. Then I add a necklace but I'm not a huge jewellery person, this is my favourite necklace and it's just a little heart locket with Marquisite stones on the front. Moving on to my outfit, I'm wearing this black crop top. I'm also wearing these little red boots from Topshop which I love, I wear these all the time, they're sort of my go-to smart casual kind of shoe. I'm also wearing this black tapestry style skirt from Topshop and I adore the textured detail on it. As for a jacket, I've thrown on this green velvet blazer which I like to call my Doctor Who jacket because it has lots of different coloured panels. That's it, I hope you enjoyed that guys. Remember to like and comment and subscribe if you're not already and you can follow me on all my social networks which are always listed in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, I love you guys, bye!